Okay, these opening shots right here of Wakanda just had me going, especially with the, the opening monologue. Yeah, it, with the, yeah, I'm paraphrasing, but he's like, I've seen things you've never seen before. I'm just like, oh my god, when it got to that point of, of the trailer already, I was like, oh boy. I, I am so got, I am so goddamn excited for this. This is like Star Trek Africa. <laughs> Look at my girl on the show, and oh my god, I just want to lick her head like one of those milk duds. Angela Be oh my god, is this woman, is she, is she immortal? Also, I'm just loving the specificity of the visual information that we are receiving from Wakanda. I mean, it just looks so wondrous, you know. Uh, not, you know, we're not getting some kind of lackluster portrayal like, uh, 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 Conlon. <coughs> By the way, I love this little fucking, this, this little handshake. That that shit was dope. Uh, by the way, Lupita Nyong'o, she she is just that is just some dark that is some dark chocolate right there. They pronounce that in such a strange way, like don't freeze, don't freeze. I never freeze. Um, I, I got work on that accent. <laughs> oh my god! And then when he fucking he he fucking falls out of the goddamn uh play like some kind of fucking African Iron Man. Uh, and then the beat just fucking kicks in, and you hear my boy Vince uh Vince Staples in the background, and just the fucking beat just gets so nasty. And and then we see Michael B. Jordan come into the frame, and by the time it gets to this part of the trailer, I, I'm just I'm just like oh god. Oh God! They did some weird rendition of the song where they got uh, uh, they got my boy Jill Scott Heron uh, kind of monologuing a bit on here uh, with this speech, which I just thought was really fucking dope because I you know I'm, I, I love his like spoken word poetry. I think it's just just mind melting, you know. Um, a, a fantastic artist. So just like having like Vince Staples. And, and him just like meshed together and then there's just Black Panther Woo. I also love this moment it's, it's just visually just gorgeous I love what's going on with the with the with the color palette here it almost seems like a living painting or something but uh, when we see uh, uh, my boy Chadwick uh, walking up to um, the tree with the with the Black Panthers that part it's just great, and and with the song playing at that part. By the time it gets to that part in the trailer, every time I'm just like this. I I love Michael B. Jordan. I I think he's a fantastic actor. I I think it's exhilarating that he's gonna be the villain. Just just please, just please, just don't give us another weak Marvel villain. God damn it! Just like please, just please don't. And by the way, is it just me, or does it seem like neck? down like all this looks CGI right here is that just me maybe that's just me but this all looks like fucking CGI what a f what a fucking shot you know what I'm saying Andy Serkis just blew the fuck out of some car with some uh, uh, wrist fucking gun blaster bracelet some shit uh, like Black Panther he's just like doing some weird spider-man shit and fucking tears out the tire and God damn, Marvel is just like, they're just, I mean, they're just growing erections. That's what they're really doing. They're not even growing movies. They're just growing, growing erections. And then they did it again when they review, uh, when they review, when they reveal this, this, oh, this logo right here, how it slowly fades in to the fucking beat. And that's how they kind of echoed, like, how they did that with the first trailer. I'm excited. It looks badass. It looks visually distinctive. Um, you know, I, I, I just can't wait. I, I, I am concerned about the story, you know. I hope that the story isn't convoluted. That kind of worries me just a little bit. Um, another thing that I'm worried about is the villain or villains. I'm not sure how many villains there are, but the central villain and any other villains, I just hope that they're just handled with care and kind of just not like shoehorned into the film and just one dimensional. I don't know. I mean, we'll 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 see what happens. I think Fruitvale Station is a just just a haunting fucking film. Great film. Uh, you know, I loved uh, Creed. I gave it a ten out of ten. I thought it was kind of spine tingling to be honest with you. And I'm not even the biggest fan of Rocky, but I just thought what Ryan Coogler did with the film was just 
Whoa. You know, I, I think it should be good. I mean, it looks it looks really badass. It looks really action-drenched um, and soaked. I just hope that... You know, I just hope... I hope that the emotional resonance is there. You know, I hope that the villain is, is just really multi-layered and just really interesting, you know. And I really hope that they do uh, the character justice. Uh, but in the meantime... Uh, all those fears aside, it looks pretty goddamn cool. But what did you guys see, uh, or what did you guys think about this goddamn trailer? Because you've been seeing it. I know I'm late and all. Not that I give a damn, but, um, <clears throat> it's been busy around here. <laughs> but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this trailer. Uh, what do you, what do you think about the film? Um, yeah, this is probably gonna be my last, uh video about any footage because i think to watch any more footage after this point is a big fucking mistake but yeah let me know your thoughts about this trailer down below